Hello and welcome to another episode of the Week in Technology. Uh, my name is Karamjit. I'll be hosting the show this week. Uh, and as usual, we will start off with uh, what is the cover story for the following week. And um, this coming week, we're gonna we have a very very interesting interview with the CEO of uh, Malaysian Dev Ventures, uh, uh, Inche Zubair. And this is what the story is going to be about. Uh, we normally start by talking about the story itself, but we are very fortunate this week that uh, we have actually uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Inche Zubair himself to be our guest for the show. Zubair, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure this is not the first time you've been on TV, right? Or well, on, on internet TV? Not with the age. No. <laughs> not with the age. Okay, great. So we've got a whole bunch of questions to ask Zubair. It's been, uh, uh, it was a really great interview with him. The cover story was done by Doreen Leong, who's uh, just joined the desk this week and she already got a first cover story. And you're going to enjoy reading it. I think you're going to enjoy even more the interview with Zubair. So Zubair, let's get started and just want to get uh, started with a, a big picture, yeah? a quick snapshot of uh, the amount of money and the number of companies that MDB has helped from both uh, the first fund and now your second fund, which is I think in total going to be worth 2.5 billion ringgit, right? Okay. Well, we, ha we have funded um, uh, a total of uh, 2.5 billion uh, ringgit uh, to 279 79 companies, uh, ICT companies. And um, uh, for last year alone, uh, we have approved uh, slightly over 1 billion ringgit. Last year, sorry. Yeah, uh, with uh, disbursements of uh, close to uh, 700 million. So uh, to us, uh, it's an achievement for MDV uh, to be uh, able to help uh, ICT companies uh, mm -hmm. all this while. Yeah. So you said you approved <coughs> 1 billion last year and the disbursements were 700 million. Yeah. So wh why is there a difference in that 300 million then? Most of our approvals um, go along with uh, milestones Milestone, and uh, yeah. condition precedents that the customers will have to uh, uh, meet. meet before the drawdowns are made. So okay. those are the difference in ah, the I see. Okay. Okay. So that means not all the conditions were met, right, for the rest of the money? Uh, even if they have met their mm -hmm. condition pre uh, precedents, okay. then there are milestones. Yeah. Because uh, MDV uh, are largely doing project financing, yeah. The project financing has got their milestones that they have to meet. Yeah. So it's not, not like uh, you, uh, uh, disburse, uh, you approve one billion and, and you get one billion next day. No, you have to meet the milestones. Yeah, 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 correct. Okay. So, all right. And what about with your second fund then? What's the status of that? How much has been given out? Um, <coughs> out of um, half a billion which we have uh, uh, drawn down uh, last year, okay. uh, we have approved uh, more than 300 million uh, okay. of those amounts and uh, close to 200 has been uh, disbursed. Okay. So, but uh, as you know that the second fund is uh, for biotechnology and ICT as well. Yes. So that is a combination of two sectors now that we are funding. And uh, the, the biotech sector is uh, uh, what portion of that 300 million so far? Um, initially we targeted for 200 million in biotech okay. and 300 in ICT. Okay. Uh, we realized that we have exceeded the uh, target for biotechnology. Biotech. Uh, we have approved okay. more than uh, 200 million of uh, deals for biotechnology last year. Okay. On the surface of that, that looks a bit surprising because we don't have an established and strong biotech industry in the country, right? And yet you've had so many deals coming to you. So uh, what do you read into that? Is it because, as expected, the banks you know, are not interested and don't understand this sector? Or when we first or we uh, underestimated the, you know, the, uh, what we have in Malaysia in terms of biotech too? Well, when we first mm -hmm. initiated the uh, move to uh, fund biotech, yeah. We already knew that there are deals coming in, okay. and so when we launched Biotech last year, uh, the deals are really coming in okay. to, to MDV. And uh, much to our surprise, uh, uh, most of the deals are uh, more so on industrial bio, industrial bio uh, rather than healthcare, agri-bio or, or other areas. Okay. But we expect this to happen in Malaysia uh, because of the technologies that uh, uh, they can bring in even from overseas. Oh, and in the case of Malaysia, a lot of our palm oils um, and other uh, meals using fossil oils, fossil oil. which is uh, hurting the environment. Yeah. So with the uh, opportunity to uh, convert energies uh, from palm and, uh, mm -hmm. and bushels um, into uh, steam yeah. and pow steam powered. So yeah. I think the opportunity for Malaysia to grow in industrial bio is tremendous. It's tremendous. It's immense, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so industrial <coughs> biotech is where you're using uh, uh, like you know a discarded material, right, and converting that into energy, right? Yes, and, and many more and uses many here. More, Biomass, yeah. or they, yeah. they call it waste to wealth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Or oh, waste to wealth. Waste to okay, wealth, yeah, correct, yeah. Yeah. I hear that all the time. <coughs> okay, now I finally know what waste to oil means, readers. Waste to wealth. Or viewers, yeah. waste to wealth. Okay, <laughs> yeah. now I know what that phrase means. 
Okay, great. Uh, let's move on to the second question, which is uh, uh, one of your key mandates is to help catalyze the local industry also, hopefully, right, uh, through the money that you loan. Um, uh, what has been the best example of this happening and how are you trying to get more successes, you know, such as this? One of a uh, good measure is to, uh, uh, to, to show that there are many companies uh, who started uh, coming to MDV with uh, revenues or turnover of uh, just over one, one million. One million but uh, to date, uh, their turnovers have uh, gone to maybe 10, 24 from what they used to, to achieve uh, before they come to MTV. Absolutely. And that to us is a big achievement on how we can show successes in funding ICT companies. There are also cases where uh, companies uh, that have gone for listing, uh, like Scan Associates, for example, yeah. have gone for listing. And um, the third one is uh, many of the uh, high-value high government contracts mm -hmm. or, or, or government projects uh, like uh, the Iprolehan, yeah. uh, the Mampu project, mm -hmm. the uh, s school net project, are actually funded through. In fact, in the case of Iprolehan, which is a better oh, okay. uh, example, yeah, is um, from a purely hundred thousand worth of transactions. That uh, hundred thousand uh, is that a month or a day? Uh, a month. A month. A month. Okay. Eh? Uh, they have now gone to almost seven billion. Wait a minute, seven billion. Yeah, worth of transactions going through Iprolehan. Oh. And over how many years period was this? Uh, one another? Um, you guys first invested in them in what? 2000? In 2003. Three, okay. uh, so we are now in 2008 yeah. uh, and nine. So we have wow. seen tremendous improvement from just uh, 100,000 per week or per month. They have now that's gone great. to 7 billion. And that's also with the support of the government. Mm -hmm. But uh, how MTV uh, has played their role yeah. in nurturing the companies uh, from just merely a small company yeah. of uh, 50 people to now they're having more than 200 people. Okay, excellent. So, so you say you guide the companies because the perception is that you just give them the money and you only monitor in terms of them, you know, keeping to the milestones, you know. But so, what what other value add do you do you do you offer these companies then? Uh, I think all of us realized during the initial stages of the flagship projects, okay. most of the projects are facing uh, some problems, you know, getting getting off the ground okay. and acceptance by the users. And I think uh, it probably hand is not short of facing problems. Okay. But with the help of people like MDV, because most of the uh, instances are when uh, customers or users want to see whether they receive continued support from the bankers. Oh, okay. And that is when MDV continuously work together with the EP to convince the government that this is a good system. EP? What is EP? Sorry. Ipro Lehan. Oh, Ipro Lehan. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ipro Lehan. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, both of us work hand in hand mm -hmm. to convince the government that this is a good project mm -hmm. and MDV is still, uh, still. Uh, helping and supporting Commerce.com, Commerce.com in, yeah, yeah. in this case. So uh, that is uh, 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 a classical example of a win-win relationship between yeah. a financier yeah. uh, like MDV and a, a customer yeah. uh, like Commerce.com where we, Commerce.com do uh, uh, rely on uh, MDV to help to also push the system uh, for government to use. Uh, and in the case of MDV, uh, it's simple. Mm -hmm. Once they deliver their system, once it's used by the, by, by the users, yeah. we got back our loan. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> of course, of course, yeah. Because it's uh, on a, a small percentage, right, of, of the transaction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, excellent. All right. So, okay, let, let's move on to the other question, which is on uh, uh, to do with biotech, yeah, which is that we keep hearing that our strength in biotech, you know, incumbent strength is our biodiversity, right, the rainforest. Um, uh, Singapore is yet learning the hard way that trying to establish yourself in healthcare, especially drugs, is not easy. But um, how many uh, Malaysian biotech companies, you know, have you seen who are actually trying to capitalize on our biodiversity? Well, through my discussions with um, uh, biotech companies, uh, I we, we do see many several companies who are actually involved in uh, 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 biotechnology. I mean trying to uh, utilize the uh, richness in uh, yeah. the, the country's biodiversity. Okay. Um, th there are some success stories, uh, but I think generally uh, many of them are still in the infancy stage. Sure, okay. uh, we will see in the next uh, three, five years mm. uh, where uh, the results would be for coming to the public. Uh, mm. And uh, this is a good trend, actually. And uh, it is true uh, that uh, the richness in Malaysian uh, diversity can be really utilized and, and, and wealth made out of it, you know. 